guys, will I post this? Will I not post this? We'll see. Hey everybody and welcome to The Life of Sween. I'm Elizabeth Sweeney and as you can tell by the title, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my current obsessions. So let's just dive right in. So to start off with, the first thing I've been obsessed with is Beautiful Day Body Spray by Bath & Body Works. If anybody knows me, I made a resolution about two years ago that said that any beauty product I have to like open up one and use it completely and then I'll move on to the next one and as you can tell there's only a little bit left in here but it's such a fresh and like clean scent but it just smells like how I would picture like a pretty day to be or like a beautiful day sometimes when I wear it people are like are you wearing a beautiful day and I'm like yeah how'd you know and it's just a classic scent by Bath and Body Works okay so I'm huge into skincare right now and my mom actually sells Mary Kay and there's this new product line called Mary Kay Naturally and I'm trying to set this up but there's four products here and I know I'm not showing these the best and the lighting's kind of crazy but I'm obsessed with all of them and I've struggled with acne prone skin ever since like last little bit of elementary school so my skin and like skincare has always been like a huge deal in my life so the first thing that I'm obsessed with is the Mary Kay Naturally Purifying Cleanser but this is so gentle on your skin if you guys ever have used the CeraVe or the Cetaphil this kind of has that same kind of consistency of like smoothness for your skin but it's just a very fresh and clean it's a very light like wash it out this next thing that I'm obsessed with is the Mary Kay Naturally exfoliating powder it's literally this like white powder and you mix it with water to like make your exfoliating powder or your exfoliating solution and they actually recommend to mix it with this next thing from Mary Kay, which is the nourishing oil. So what I do is like, I'll do the quarter size or dime size amount that this says to put in on it. Then I drop in like two to three drops of this and it leaves my face feeling A, super soft, but then B, super moisturized because of this oil. I struggle also where I have like acne prone skin, I have like all these like topical treatments that doctors have prescribed me and all that stuff so my skin is acne prone and it's also dry so having this combination really has like allowed my skin to like get those dead cells and skin like off of my face and just kind of like bring in like the new like fresh clean skin and then leave it super hydrating sometimes when I put on makeup I won't put on my moisturizer before the fact and I will put on this instead I'll just drop in like a drop or two and it's perfect so I would definitely try out these two I honestly don't know the prices for any of these Mary Kay products I think they're pretty affordable but they're definitely not like drugstore prices and the last thing I have for the Mary Kay Naturally collection that I'm obsessed with lately is a Mary Kay moisturizing stick. It smells like what I imagine like honey to like smell like smell like in a product and I just when I think of the honey smell I think like oh my goodness it's gonna be sticky but once you like put it on your skin it's so lightweight if it starts getting those little dry bubbles what I'll do is I'll just like go like this and then I'll use my ring finger and just like blend the moisturizer back in. It's kind of like a setting spray. I couldn't tell you guys what any of these naturally products are made of, but all I know is that they have really helped my skin just kind of like clear up. And it's the, the Body Shop, the Tea Tree Oil. And it looks like something that you would put in like an oil diffuser. And you might potentially do that, but that's not what I use it for. It smells very strong, 
but the opening looks like this and what I do is I just like drop like a little puddle if you will into my palm and what I do is I like dip my other finger in there and if I feel like a zit coming on or if I have like a spot on my face I'll just use this tea tree oil and like cover it with this and it just like dries it out if you've ever used the Mario Badescu drying lotion I used to use that all the time this is so much better than that and I think it's cheaper too I think but I've been using this for months and I've like almost like halfway done with this little thing but this guys has literally saved my skin now that I've used this I think that I will always use it the rest of my life if I have like problem spots I love it that much but the one thing I'm gonna throw out there that is probably the craziest is going to be this pre-coronavirus I was thinking that I would love to have like white teeth on graduation day because I'm going to be in photos and a lot of my family was going to be there so I've tried whitening strips before but they like just really hurt my teeth and I can't use them as often as I would like to so one day I was walking through Ollie's and I found this and it's simply just like a Listerine mouthwash but it's a healthy white gentle teeth whitening mouthwash so what you do is you brush your teeth and then afterwards you just use this and you mouthwash do how you normally do and it just lightly like slowly builds up like whiter teeth and guys I don't have a before and after but I have seen a huge difference in my teeth I have been pairing this up with the crest optic white toothpaste so I think that that toothpaste and this mouthwash is a wonderful duo if you're like have super sensitive teeth like me but you also want your teeth to be white as opposed to like yellow and I think I paid like five dollars for this huge thing and this has lasted me a huge little bit and don't know if you can hear that but I literally have like one use if that left in this so this bottle is completely empty and I've had it for like a month or two this next thing I have are two sinful uh, colors nail polishes they're both blue this is the one I have on right now and then this is in the shade blew me away and blue is like the color spelled out the color blue and then this lighter shade is in al frisco I don't know if I'm saying that right but I think that's how you say it but this is what my sister has been using and I've used it a couple times but my sister is a couple shades darker than me and kind of like tan and this looks so good on her like skin tone and I'm just like Wow, and then when I put it on me, it still looks good, but if you have like a slightly like tan complexion, this Alfresco one would be perfect on you. And both of these are like two or three dollars at Walmart. I think mine was like $2.79 plus tax, so not bad at all. But let me just talk about this um, Blew Me Away one. I always tend to like keep some form of nail color on my nails all the time mostly just like painting as opposed to like acrylics and stuff like that but one day I was just like walking through Walmart at the makeup section and there was a in corner display and it had all these like new matte colors and I've never been huge into the matte nail polish but I was like that's a pretty color I'm gonna try it and guys I kid you not I have worn this ever since I bought this and I've not worn anything else literally like when my fingernail polish is like, like gets really bad and like chipped what I'll do is like I'll take it off and then reapply this and I don't put like a top coat over top of it because it's a matte like finish and I'm not getting too close because I swear guys like if I like go really close you'll see that it's actually super chipped and I have painted the sides of my fingers but Every time I wear it, somebody just like always notices them because it's such like a distinct, I guess, shade. But I'm obsessed with this, guys. And like I said, this is in the shade Blew Me Away. I would definitely go out and try this. It's Neutrogena Hydro Boost City Shield Eye Serum. And I got this at TJ Maxx for like $7.99, I think. But I've been using this since November or December. And what it is, it's just an under eye cream. So when I go to bed, I just pump and I use my ring finger because apparently it's like the lightest pressure and I just go a pump per eye and I have noticed that my under eye, under eye bags if I can talk to you guys have just gotten a whole lot less dark 
and there's just it's adding a little bit of life back into my face and then like I said your under eye bags just like don't fully go away but there is a noticeable difference so this next thing also deals with eye care so I got this at Walmart in the like clearance area so I paid three dollars for this but this is the refreshment cucumber and bamboo eye to puffer and this is what it looks like and this reminds me of a dupe of the Tula eye to puffer I'm not sure what the exact name of the Tula one is but this one works really well and I've used the Tula one before but the Tula one is just like on a you pay the money and it's a really good product this is a cheap dupe that gets the same job done, but definitely not as effective as the Tula one. Having said that, what I've noticed that really helps me is that when I apply my makeup, normally my process includes moisturizer, then after I moisturize my face, I go in with this and I'll just go underneath my eyes. But I feel like that helps my concealer and all my other makeup like foundation and stuff over top of it just to go on a little bit smoother and for my under eyes like I said not to be as dark as what they really are. I got it at Target and it is a prep your skin honey and oatmeal body lotion and it looks like this. It was in its normal spot but it was on clearance and I think I paid like four dollars or something like that for that. Some four dollars for this and it smells so good it doesn't smell like honey and oatmeal though it smells like almonds it smells more like the almond abstract or an almond cake so if you've ever had like an almond cake it smells just like that i will say that it isn't super greasy and the scent isn't overpowering and it lasts not all day but like you go throughout the day and like you'll like move a certain way and then you're like you'll smell this again so it's definitely not overpowering but i think it's just like the perfect like spring scent and i've been obsessed with this i think this next thing that i'm obsessed with is a nars lip gloss and this is in the shade risky business is what i'm wearing on today but one of the workers there the nars representative was like oh you would look great in this shade and i was like oh and then he put it on me and i was like I'm not mad but the one looks like this I think this costs like $20 maybe uh, guys I'm really bad with prices but I think it's a really pretty shade I don't I'm really into wearing like light pink like lip glosses and lipsticks and I'm really into the your lip but better and I think that this kind of in person looks like a you but better but it's kind of like on the more like higher spectrum spectrum of like like you're actually definitely wearing lipstick guys I'm super bad at like describing things I'm so sorry okay this last beauty product that I'm going to talk to you guys about is this another physician's formula item and it's the brow last and this is in the shade medium brown and it looks like this well, anyways this is what it looks like and it comes with a little spoolie and if anybody knows me I actually am a natural like brunette but my eyebrows are blonde what happened in my life I have no idea so I have to like do my eyebrows or I'm gonna look crazy but this is super pigmented and the brush looks like this so what I do is at night I will do my eyebrows and it looks like that and then it's kind of stays wet for a while but then once it dries I just use a little spoolie and I like go through it and I kind of use this as a tint because when I sleep and I wake up they're actually like the shade I need to be uh, if I put this on I'll put it on and this tint will last me like three or four days so I haven't put this on in like three or four days and what I'll do like when my eyebrows like really are just kind of like going back to like my blonde roots I'll just like I said I'll pop this on again at night and then it'll last me for another three to four days and what I do is I just take like a little LA colors or LA girl um little eyebrow pencil and I'll fill in the places that are a little sparse in color and pigment and 
do my eyebrows. I, I know I'm saying I love this, I like all this stuff a lot, but I kid you not, this was part of my Christmas present and I'm just obsessed. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is this knockoff Louis Vuitton Never Full or Never Empty bag. And I actually sent my mom the exact link to the things I wanted for Christmas and I was like, hey, this is what I want. People always are like, oh my gosh, when did you get a Louis bag? And I'm like, I didn't, I got a dupe. But anyways, what you can see is that it doesn't have like um, the name written in the white squares. And it looks like this, it's a mess in here and I have a bunch of random crap because like I said, I've been traveling to and from my apartment. But it even comes with this little compartment in here and it fits a good little bit. But it also like has a little clip here and if I'm not mistaken, the real one either has red inside or pink, but this is just like clear beige color. So I have this, which leads into my other two favorites. This next thing is my keys. It's a little crazy, but first of all, I love this little duo. I got these both for Christmas. It's a little pig flying away, and on the back of it, it says, what dreams may come. And it's so stinking cute. And then I got this also knockoff Louis Vuitton um, card holder, and it holds so much. It holds cards, cash. Normally what I do is I keep my lip gloss in here, and I also have cough drops. But I got a pack of two of these for $12.99 plus free shipping. But I've already checked online and they don't sell this anymore because I guess they're like called for plagiarism. But it was such a good deal. For like 13 bucks. I got two exactly like this. And I'm just waiting until like this one just tears apart. But it's such good quality. I've been using this every day since Christmas. And the only thing it's done is that it's kind of getting a little more looser. It was super stiff when I first got it. But other than that, it's like perfect. And like I get compliments all the time and I see people always noticing um, this clip. I will also say I'm not sure about how the real Louis Vuitton works, but the clip looks like this and the pig um, keychain is this huge little spiral thing, which I think is kind of cool because I've never had a keychain that looked like that. And guys, I have just a couple more things to show you. This next thing is this Louis Vuitton um, knockoff makeup bag. And I swear to you guys, all of these Louis Vuitton things are on Amazon. This literally holds so much. I literally have nothing in there right now, hardly. But this is like the Cetaphil like huge moisturizing cream. And if anybody has like ever used that, that's a pretty decent size bottle. And it fits in here and I have, I always keep Everything I use for my makeup, I have an eyelash curler in there. I have like full size brushes in here and everything just perfectly fits in here. I think that I might go online and actually order another one of these. So when I travel, I have like my makeup in one and then like my toiletries in the other because I literally love this so much. And the handle they have on it is like pretty big and sturdy as well. And I've traveled with this a lot and it's held up very well. Okay, so the last couple things I have for you is my favorite thing that I've done as of yet in 2020. I know 2020 has been super crazy, especially with things being canceled and the coronavirus and all that. But pre-coronavirus, what happened was my friend Hannah and I actually went to go to Carolina and got to see Drake Scott in concert and they had Sawyer open for them. And it was a very like small, intimate like bar concert and we got to like basically sit or stay in front row because it was a pit. And we got to meet the band Sawyer and all that. So my favorite thing I've done this year is go to that concert, which leads into my favorite albums and favorite songs. So my two favorite albums obviously are the Jake Scott Lie album, which is what we saw at the concert. And then also the band Sawyer. It's less than more than is their album. And they have such like catchy songs. So like if you're looking for like a montage like song in a movie or whatever, I swear that Sawyer is just the band for you. They're both very kind of like chill poppy. And okay, so now I'm gonna tell you three songs that I'm obsessed with as of right now. The first one is I Don't Miss You by Jake Scott. It's kind of one of his like older songs, but he performed that at the concert and it was just so good. 
The next one I have for you guys is a throwback song from Lainey that was played at that concert, but it's called Thick and Thin, and it's just so catchy, guys. You guys need to listen to these songs. And the last favorite song of this year that I've had nonstop on repeat is The Last Thing from Sawyer. It will get so stuck in your head. The chorus is literally, I said that Thick and Thin is catchy. The last thing is so catchy. It's gonna get stuck in your head and then you're gonna be like, oh, I'm so annoyed with it. And then you'll find another song and then you'll be like, oh, I gotta go back to the last thing. It's so good. Yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.